The Italian side's uh, Serie A side, Napoli, have confirmed the signing of young Nigerian striker Victor Sime from French club Lille. Napoli's website gave very few details of the deal, simply saying SSC Napoli are delighted to announce the signing of Victor Sime from Lille on a permanent transfer. According to French sports newspaper Le Quip, the deal is worth more than $96 million, um, making him the most expensive African pra player of all time. Napoli have now paid more than the English side Arsenal paid Leo for Ivory Coast Nicolas Pepe a year ago. Osime had joined Leo from Belgium's uh, Chaleroy as a replacement for Pepe. Joining us live now is uh, Tunde Adilakun, a head, uh, head scout of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Good morning to you. Victor Osima is now the biggest and most expensive Nigerian player to move from club to club in the transfer window. Will the role uh, be too big for him to handle in Napoli? Oh, no, not at all. No, Victor, Victor has been on the big stage at every stage of his career. He has, um, he has shown that he could do it. And even right from the time when he was an under-17 player who was a member of an academy in Lagos, he went to Chile uh, as an under-17 player for the Nigerian Golden Eaglets, won the um, World Cup, the under-17 World Cup, and emerged as the highest scorer in a very long time with 11 goals. It was the biggest stage that he could have been put on, and he handled it very well. From there, he moved on, and um, his career has progressed as as you would expect and as you would want and he has handled every atom of pressure with the kind of hard work diligence that you would expect of a youngster and so no the pressure would never be too much for him he's also been tagged to be the one to fill the boots of rashidi yakini do you do you agree with this well, I mean, I'm, I'm an advocate and I tell him all the time, be your own person, you know, and um, filling boots and uh, likening people to others. Rashidi Akini belonged in a class of his own. We, we, we respect what he did for Nigeria. Victor is a player of his own right and he will do stuff for Nigeria that will make us put him along the same pedestal as the ones who have been greatest for Nigeria over the time. So, yes, he can feel, he can do a very good job he won't fill the boots he will create his own boots and he will do very well in those boots all right and now let's also talk about the move to napoli do you feel that this might be a motivation for all the super eagle stars to up their game well, obviously, I mean, um, we we always say that um, if we're presented, Nigeria is a country of fighters. Nigeria has a fighting spirit in them. And therefore, if we're presented with the opportunity to do well, we never fail. And it goes back over the years to the likes of J.G. Okocha, Kano Wanko, Rashidi Yakini that you mentioned, Sunday Olise, a lot of them who managed to get big contracts in big clubs never came back and failed us. So Victor would just be about the same. And I'm hoping that he stays fit. He is very committed. He's passionate for the game. And it will be a wake-up call to everybody that if you work hard, if you do what you're supposed to do, keep your humility, keep your hard work, be diligent and be good at what you do and identify the talent that you have got, you will go places. Victor has gone places and it's only just the beginning for him. All right. I also wanted to speak about um, the likes of Kelechi Yanacho, um, who, you know, arguably hasn't had such a great season at least, uh, um, you know, um, this um, in the last um, EPL. Um, what do you want to see more of with regards his story and, of course, all the Nigerian players that are in clubs in Europe? Well, obviously, um, football is such a dynamic game. It's very different. A player who does very well in, um, who did very well in Manchester City, his goal per his goal per minute ratio is second to none in Manchester City and in the Premier League. In spite of the fact that he was scoring most of the goals off of the bench, Kelechi moved to Leicester City, hoping that he will continue in that. Vein. Unfortunately for him, the system of play that the coach at Leicester City was using at the time required only one striker. And they had a very good striker, an Englishman, Jimmy Vardy, who was scoring the goals. So he had to play the backup role. He had to be, play the support striker. That wasn't good for him. That is where the thin line is between doing well and not doing well. Yeah. I wouldn't say he had a bad season because he still managed to score important goals. He can do a lot better. Like I said earlier on, you identify within yourself what you're good at 
And Kalechi knows what he's good at. He knows where the goal is. And if he can get the opportunity to move to a club where his talent will be actually fully utilised, it'd be great for him. If he stays at Leicester City, I'm sure they will find a way for him and he will have a good season because it wasn't that bad. At the end of the at the end of the season, by the end of the season, we didn't see it as a bad season for him. And of course, uh, you, you as a um, um, uh, chief scout for the Super Eagles, one person that you've seen in the last one year um, that you feel also might be doing it big, like Victor Sima is doing. Um, one person you think we should watch out for quickly. There's a lot. There's a lot. I, I will not single out one player that we should watch out for. I will pick out the one that has done it already, and I will play, pay kudos and tribute to a lot of the players who have done very well for themselves as well in their respective clubs. You know, I spoke to a couple of players even yesterday who were very elated and very honoured to know that we have been watching them. There will be a lot more. The future is very bright for the Nigerian national team because we have got talent, you know, budding yeah. talent, young talent talent everywhere and I will not single out one player they know themselves I talk to them all the time and I'm sure that they're going to make us proud Tunde Adilaku thank you so much for sharing with us uh, of course we wish Victor, Victor Simeon all the best many thanks